Okay, here's this little um, vibrator oscillator running on a little solar panel in my kitchen. And um, I've had a lot of fun with this. It's been real interesting because uh, you'd think it's just a simple little device, be real simple to, to make and, and get to work. And it really isn't. Um, the spring rate on that uh, piece of plastic and then the size of the capacitor based on the power source and the relationship of the magnet to the reed switch to the coil if it's not right it won't work at least with the low power ratings but uh, anyway this is it running on a, a little solar panel and you can't even see the LED lighting up it's, it's flickering but you can't really see it Maybe you can see it just barely flicker there. The radio is so you can hear the spark on the um, reed switch. When the reed switch uh, opens up, it sparks, and that's what the radio picks up. And of course, you can see it with this thing going back and forth. But uh, that's a 47 microfarad, 35 volt electrolytic capacitor. And without that, this doesn't work. But the size of that capacitor, the rating of that capacitor, has to be right so that the energy coming in gets in there fast enough so that it matches up with the rate of the oscillator. Otherwise, it won't work. Too small, it won't work. Too big, it won't work, depending on the power that you're shoving into this little thing. But anyway, I just wanted to show you that this can run on uh, ambient light. But these guys here are much better at doing that job. And uh, these little uh, solar uh, waving toys you get at the dollar store, the device that's in that, the electronics and the, the circuitry and everything, to me is one of the most efficient things I've come across as far as usage of energy converted to mechanical energy. And uh, there